Hello farmer friends from Colombia and the world. Today we are in the municipality of Puerto Lieras, Meta, Colombia. We want to invite you to get to know this beautiful trellis passion fruit crop and invite you to consume passion fruit. Why consume passion fruit? It's antidiuretic, antispasmodic and antidepressant. The University of Antioquia released a very important study where they declare that passion fruit prevents cancer, that is, it's anti-carcinogenic. Now you're going to see our friend Jonathan who's going to share some important tips about passion fruit, but not before showing you this delicious fruit. And once again, I would like to emphasize the invitation to consume our Supreme Majesty passion fruit. Let's see how this fruit is doing. What a beautiful fruit. Let's see how this stuffed fruit is doing. Look at this preciousness. A fruit that is full of a very good pollination and the pericarp still tells us that it is still passing nutrients to the pulp. That's why housewives like the ripe passion fruit because all the nutrients have already transferred to the pulp. So stay until the end because you'll be very interested in this video with our friend Jonathan Perez here in Puerto Lleras. Passion fruit on a trellis with top quality. Hello to farmer friends here in Colombia and around the world. My name is Jonathan Perez a farmer from the municipality of Puerto Lleras, Meta. I've been cultivating passion fruit for 12 years now. Well, Jonathan, tell us how to achieve these yields and the passion fruit of that quality that we're seeing here. Immense yield, evenly grown, shiny fruit. Actually, what we have here is an excellent passion fruit. What could you share with us farmers in the initial stage of growing passion fruit? From the nursery, we have to pay attention to setup. Well, first things first, you need to have good seed genetics. Firstly, make sure to have a reliable nursery that thoroughly disinfects the soil. It's crucial to prepare the bag properly. The bag should be large, not small, because that's where the plant's roots will start to develop. That's the primary part. If the plants have good roots, we're going to have excellent production. Plants basically feed from the roots, but also from their foliage. However, the root is of prime importance. Prepare the ground really well. It's very important to make the mounds. What's a mound, Jonathan? We create the mound using a spade. This elevates the plant so it doesn't rest on the ground. It's important that it's not too low. If it's too low, then the soil's moisture will cause fungus. It's the fusarium that attacks the roots. When the plant is raised, we won't have problems with fusarium. We will not come across such a high level of disease because the plant will remain dry. And that's one of the main problems crops have, root fungi. So it's important for people to learn how to make vaccines. At what age is it advisable to make the plant vaccine? First of all, you also have to have well, to do that, to have proper conditions for the land, you first have to apply good biological controls and good chemical controls as well, so that the soil arrives in a healthy condition for the crop and the plant arrives healthy. And the other thing is, here, a disinfection is carried out on the soil. I usually do it when the plant is more or less this height, around 40 days or a little bit taller. That's when I make the first vaccine for the root. The other one, the second one, I do it when it's already growing upwards, it's already being watered. And I do the other one when it's flowering. That's three little vaccines that I always give it. They are preventative, not curative, because you know that the important thing in agriculture is prevention, not the cure. Well, dear ones, thank the farmers of Puerto Llera. They have always been known for producing very good quality food. Thank the farmers of Colombia and Latin America. Well, dear farmer friends, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like. And stay tuned for the second part, where we will learn about pruning, we will talk about costs and other topics of great economic interest in passion fruit. We remain connected with passion fruit, sustainable tropical agriculture.